Welcome to my channel, Predict in the Future. Today we're going to talk about C++ programming. We're going to talk about uh, the features of C++ 11 to C++ 20. And the topic we're going to talk about today is function types. Uh, we're going to see different type of defining a function and how to use that as, as a callback function. And we'll see what are the differences of those different function types. The first one is the traditional way of defining a function pointer, uh, which here, which you see here, is with, I define a function pointer which has return value int, has one parameter as int. And the same function structure, uh, a signature way, uh, the modern way, uh, C11 uh, way of defining functions, that comes with two more uh, different, uh, two types of defining functions. Uh, the, the, the first one is the same as a function pointer, uh, but we here we can use using keyword to define a function type, uh, which is the same function type. Uh, return value is in, and prompt is int as well. Another way is using the standard function, standard library, uh, which is a std function to define a function type. And the last one we're going to compare is a function uh, functor type, which is a structure or which is a struct or a class where inside that we have a, uh, override uh, the the parameters um, operator. So those four types of defining a function type, and we're going to see what are the differences here. Uh, so I also define a couple of utility functions. I define a regular function, which is the same function type as a return v int and one parameter int. Define a, a function with three parameters, uh, with a return with the last one as int, and return value is int as well. And also define a, f a class uh, where there's also a, a member function which is has three parameters and the last one is, is int as well. Uh, and then uh, Let's first look at the traditional way of defining a function pointer. Uh, so here we have defined a function using this function pointer. So it's using underscore fun underscore pointer. And it takes the function pointer as as the parameter and we call that inside this function. And the second uh, function we define is using the, the C11 way of defining a function type. Uh, and that is uh, and that's this this function. And the third one is using the std function as a callback function parameter in this function type in this in this uh, function. The third is using a functor. Uh, so we define the parameter callback as a functor type. And now we are gonna see what are the difference of those different ways defining function function types. The first one we want to test uh, uh, so here in our main function, uh, also this is a global uh, global um, global variable we're gonna use. Uh, rather, than, okay. So one more thing is that besides those function types, we're gonna test how we can use that. Also, we're gonna use the lambda functions, which is a new feature in in the modern C plus plus, and and we'll see uh, what are the difference of those those def def defining function types or using this these four types. The first one we want to see is using the traditional function pointer, which is the uh, type def int or function pointer. So uh, we use this uh, this using fun uh, using func pointer function and see uh, what kind of functions we can pass in as parameter. The first one is we pass in the regular function, uh, which is uh, just a regular function we define in in C and C and this is totally fine. It's just a, the old way of uh, function. And the second way is see I'm using a, a lambda function and passing it to the function pointer, and and that's also fine. Um, however, here we are, so you see this this bracket here, this square bracket here. I have nothing here for those who don't know the lambda functions in C The square bracket here is called captures. So it captures the variables out of this that, that will be used in this lambda function. Um, let's say 
uh, I can capture uh, a local variable cap in this main function, uh, for example, this one. Uh, and and I can I can just use that use it in 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 this lambda function. But however, you see here, uh, once I remove the common, uh, we have a compile error here. So we won't be able to capture uh, a, we won't be able to capture variables uh, to be used in this lambda function. Uh, and and that capture here just just to just to mention here, this is a reference capture with the end in front is a reference capture. And saying uh, the D4 capture all uh, is that whenever I use something, uh, it will be referenced to, uh, to the local variable cap uh, automatically. Everything I reference out of the lambda function will be reference will be passing uh, as a as a reference. Uh, however, this also doesn't work. Uh, passing by value is also doesn't work. So here, as equal sign here means that. Any anything passing to be used in this in this lambda function will be copied, uh, and same for specifying each uh, specific uh, random variable uh, specific uh, 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 variables to be used in in this uh, function. Uh, we can specify in here without the n uh, prefix, and that's that means we're passing by value as well. But those those are don't don't work at all. The reason is that those lambda functions are actually passing similar to functor types. It's passing as an object. So as long as we have something captured to be used in, in this lambda function, we won't be able to pass that to a function pointer. Uh, but if we don't have anything to be captured, let's say this one, although we have a global variable we can use, that's totally fine. Uh, as long as we don't capture anything, uh, we can still the lambda function was the same as uh, any regular function pointer. So so that's so that's uh, uh, using a regular function. Also, using a regular function also doesn't work for. Uh, uh, here I'm defining. Uh, uh, here the FF here is using std bind to bind. Uh, a three argument function that we saw earlier, uh, where it has a string, a double, and int as parameter, and then bind uh, the first two parameters and then put a placeholder as, as last one so that when we call f uh, with a one parameter, that will be uh, passing this as, as this into the placeholder here. Uh, this doesn't work as well because std bind is just creates an object, it's not a, a, a pointer. And so this uh, doesn't work as well. Uh, also uh, for class, so I can also bind a function from a class member function with the instance of f class here. Uh, this is the instance here. So we bind this function and then bind its uh, first two parameters. And, and, and with the last one, we put a placeholder here. The, so the class function here also doesn't work because it's just an object. And the last one is functor type. So functor type also doesn't work because functor type is, is we are constructing as as uh, as object. So the function pointer can only can only be used with regular functions or lambda functions that doesn't have uh, any uh, captures. So that's the regular function. And uh, and as I said, the second way of defining a function type is using the using keyword to define a function type as C in line 15. Uh, line 15. Uh, it's, it's exactly the same as uh, the tr traditional way of defining a function type. Uh, and it's exactly the same behavior as the, as the traditional function pointer uh, as well. So as you can see here, I can, we can use we can pass in a regular function. We can pass in lambda function without captures, but we can't do anything else. We can't use functors. We can't use uh, binded functions. We can't use uh, fun, uh, 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 lambdas with with captures. So that's so that's the the first two uh, function types. And the next one is the functor type. The functor type is just. Uh, uh, class or a struct that we have override the we have uh, 
member function of operator overriding the parameter uh, the, the brackets and so the functor type uh, let's see uh, what kind of function we can pass in as, as a functor type uh, and so using functor function we pass in a functor type this is a functor type we define uh, as a struct and and this one is totally fine. We, you know, we pass in what it is asking for, but we can't pass in a regular function because regular function is a pointer and a functor is an object. And um, the same for other things. Uh, lambda was not the, the, that functor type, so we can't pass in any of those lambdas. E even, even you don't capture anything, you can't pass in as a functor. Uh, and binding functions as well. You can pass in std function uh, as uh, as a functor type. So those doesn't work at all for except for uh, functor type itself. So so this is very very limited, uh, uh, you know, functor type. Uh, and the next one is std function, which is uh, which is a very the best one, I would say, whenever you want to define a function as a callback function or passing a function to another function, use std function as long as you can. So that's the most uh, compatible function type we, uh, we should use. So using std function, we, we, we pass in one callback function type, which is std function, uh, same uh, signature function signature uh, and this function uh, can be passing a regular function uh, it can pass a lambda function without capture we can pass in any lambda function with capture reference or, or or by value so all lambda functions can be passed in we can pass in uh, uh, std function uh, with bind uh, and we can and we can pass in functor as uh, as well, so std function is the most compatible one. Uh, we can pass any function we want uh, to std function as a parameter. So always use std function uh, if you can. And uh, that's it, everyone. Hope you like it. Bye.